I said, your butt to blow my mind, think that you should back away She said, these niggas switching sides, I said, bitches playing games I got a lot up on my mind, that's why I be overweight She said, What is up you guys and welcome back for today's video guys before we start today's video though as usual make sure to like and subscribe guys the buttons are right down below make sure we hit that i really appreciate it and again we're gonna try to grow this shit as a family every single day possible but guys with that being said let's get right into today's video let's do it so what is up you guys welcome back for today's video today's video is story time number 11 on the channel guys i can't believe we're already through 10 and now we're on the 11th one um it feels like just yesterday i was doing the first story time when all that legal shit happened but guys we're already at story time 11 today's gonna be a good one i thought about this one um the other day and i figured we might as well get it out of the way so um let's start off with the first thing so guys this story is about um during my let's see it was my junior year of high school when um there was this whole cheating scandal that happened with one of my final exams for a class. Now, this was a class that I was gonna need to pass in order to graduate. And um, yeah, without this uh, test, it was gonna be pretty hard for me if I failed it, right? Um, and some shit happened, so let's get right into it. So it was during finals um, and you know, it was a really important time for me, especially in this class, because it's junior year, right? Junior year is a big year, um, especially if you're trying to go to college. Colleges really look at those grades, right, going into senior year. Um, and I definitely didn't want to have to retake a class, especially an English class, right? It's something I did not want to do. Um, and so it's the morning of the final. Um, and a little bit of background. So this final, basically, for this English class was we had to... The whole test was based around a book that we read. Now, I don't remember the specific book it was, um, but you know, it wasn't too thick of a book. It, and it was like a regular English class. You know, you have multiple books a semester, a year that you read for that class. Um, and for the final, it was on this book. And um, we all read it and we were allowed to bring the book in for the final and actually use it, um, you know, to help us. So we could write notes in the book. Now, remember this, we were able to write notes in the book. Now. The copy of the book that I had didn't have enough space in the margins to actually write notes in it, right? Um, so in my head, I'm just like, oh, like, what am I supposed to do if I don't really have room for notes, right? Um, and at the time, I was actually getting help from, I, it was kind of like a tutor um, at the school. And the original reason I went to this boarding school was because um, I could get help one-on-one -on -one with a person um, with some of my homework, because for a long time, I was not able to do a lot on my own in terms of like homework wise, you know what I mean? It was just helping me get organized with things I need to get done. Um, and this person was awesome. Top, my favorite person ever at this school, right? Um, they left the school, shout out to them. I'm very happy that they left and they're doing big things now. Um, but, you know, we were talking, he said, you know, why don't you, you know, why don't you write out and print out your notes and actually put them in the book, right? Um, and I was like, dude, that's a great idea, right? Why don't I just use the notes? So we typed the notes up, right? We had them all typed out and we put them in the book, right? We taped them in the book. It was my own writing. The only difference was it wasn't handwritten. It was typed on a piece of paper and then we pasted it inside the book, right? Um, and as far as I know, this was okay, right? Um, so we did this, I think it was like a day before the final. Um, so that the next day of the final, obviously, I was going to go in, right? So I'm in the exam um, and she's walking around this English teacher and a little bit of background on this English teacher. Um, she's she's an asshole, right? Um, I'm just going to call it how it is. Um, you know, a lot of people had problems with her. Um, some of my close friends had problems with her. She's very... I don't know. She's not. She's not forgiving, right? Um, and I feel like once she once she has a certain image about you, that's what it is, right? Um, and she's a very judgmental person. Um, and yeah, enough of that negativity. But um, let's get back on track to where the story was. So it's the morning of the final, and she, you know she's walking around, handing everything out, explaining everything. Um, and the way the desks are lined up, um, my ex, uh, well, I guess my girlfriend at the time. Um, was in the room too and I think she was she was like right next to me I believe or like a row behind but like 
you know, a row to the left of me. And I was actually sitting, I don't remember if she made us sit in a certain order. I think we could kind of sit anywhere, but I chose to sit right in the front. Um, and so I'm right in the front of the class facing the board, right? And it's rows, you know, aisles going through. Um, and I'm in the front, I have my book there. You know, she said, all right, if you have your book, pull it out. Um, so I pulled the book out, right? And I go to, you know, I open it, make sure my notes are there, they are. Um, and again, it was my notes that were in the book, right? And it's not like I stole them, none of that, right? And she hands out all the exams, right? She walks to the front, she says, okay, now you can begin. And I think she, you know, wrote on the board and said how much time we had to do the specific exam. Um, I don't remember what the time was. Again, it was junior year, it was a long time ago. And so for me, I was like, all right, let's do this. Like, I got my notes, I need a good grade on this class. Like, even if, say, I got a C in that class, I was gonna pass, right? But if I got to fail, like, if I failed that final exam, my grade was gonna get hurt tremendously. I probably, you know, I obviously I still passed, um, but, you know, it, it was not it was not gonna look good for me, right? Um, for colleges to see um, if I got a really bad grade on this. So I was taking it really seriously. Honestly, more, seriously than I've taken a lot of exams. Um, again, I've never been, you know, big into school and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, this one, you know, I really wanted to, I prepared for it more than for other exams. You know what I mean? So I, going in, I was like, you know, I really need to do good. Um, and, you know, she walks around, I open the book, the exam's there, and I begin to write my name on the exam, right? I think I got like, I don't remember how much, I think I just got like, Adam and then started my last name on it. And then, you know, I opened the book, I had the book right there and she was walking through the aisles and she saw the notes in the page and she goes, you know, she says my name, she grabs the book, she takes my exam and she goes, you failed, you're done, get out. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? She's like, you failed, it's cheating. You clearly are cheating. So let's pause for a second and think about this. Do you think if I was to cheat and purposely try to cheat, I would be stupid enough to sit in the front of the classroom, not hide the notes, right? I had them right in the book. Why the f do you think I'm that stupid to do that? No, and I would have tried to hide it. I knew you were walking through the aisles, right? And I had it open. If I was to cheat, why would I do that, right? And I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like I literally got help with the tutor here on this told me to do this, right? And she's like, she's like, I don't care, this is cheating, like you're out. So I got out, right? Um, and then I got called into the, um, I don't even know what her position is at the school. She's like, a, she's like right below the head, right? So you have the head of school, then you have this person who's in charge of like all academics and all that. Um, this lady's a, she's an asshole too. <laughs> Everyone watching knows who this, like you know who this person is, right? Um, and you know, she calls me into her office and where her office is, it's kind of like you walk in, then you wait. And then there's like, uh, you know, her like secretary right there. And then there's another door and you go in there. Um, so, you know, I get called in and I'm in there. Um, and I think it was me. I don't remember if the school counselor was in there or not. She might've been there. I don't really remember, um, but I'm in there. She's going over and she's like, yeah, you know, you're gonna get an F. F for the year on this. Um, and I was like, damn, like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, shit. Uh, so I failed that. Um, and honestly, I don't have too much of a recollection looking back on, you know, basically. Yeah, guys, looking back on it, I don't really remember too much about if they let me retake it. I don't believe they let me retake it. Um, and I failed that. But again, it's just very like, again, once this place has like an image about you and what they portray you as, you're fucked, right? Like you're stuck and it's very hard to get out of it. Um, and for me, I never, you know, a lot of people always ask me looking back, you know, why did you choose to stay? You could have left, you could have done this. You know, why do you talk about it now? Um, at the time I didn't want to leave um, especially because I, that year I had a bunch of stuff going for me. I had a, you know, I did, I did want to leave looking back and thinking I did want to leave at the time. 
Um, I was looking at other schools to play uh, basketball at, um, some private schools um, that were interested in me playing. Um, and But I had a girlfriend at the time, right? So I didn't want to leave her and I was like head over here, eh, head over heels for this girl. Um, looking back, it was stupid. I should have never done that. I really should have focused on me, myself and my sports. Um, but again, you learn through your mistakes and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I was very into her, so I didn't want to leave. That was one reason. Um, also friends, I didn't want to move somewhere for senior year, right? And then just like have to restart over just for a year and then leave. I was like, you know what? I'm already here. Let me just fucking try to battle through it and leave. Um, and also where I was training at, I was very, very involved where I was training at. And I didn't want to leave and not be able to train there anymore. So that was another reason. Um, and the reason I make these videos now, looking back, everyone's like, you know, why do you, why are you so like stuck on the school? Like you don't even go there anymore. It shouldn't matter. You're out. Um, it's a reflection for me. You know, I do this to reflect back and look on, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this to explain the stories and for people that want to know what happened. That and also like, I know a lot of things have happened to people there and they don't, they don't get it out and they don't explain what happened. Um, and I don't know if it's because they don't feel comfortable doing it or for other reasons, but I do it to get the message out um, and just explain what happened. Like, you know, we're quarantined right now. Like I'm very like, I enjoy making these. I don't care if it's 20 people viewing. I don't care if it's a thousand people viewing this. I do it because I enjoy it. I enjoy explaining stories, explaining what happened. Um, and honestly, at the end of the day, I don't care if you like this or hate it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I enjoy what I do. Um, and if it makes me happy, I'm gonna do it. Um, and a lot of my close friends enjoy watching them. So that's why I put them out. Um, but guys, that being said, that's gonna end today's video. Um, so yeah, basically, yeah, I got caught cheating apparently. Um, I didn't, you know, I wasn't actually cheating, but, um, in the moment, it was fucking scary. Everyone in the class was like, oh shit, he did it. And everyone in there believed I did it. Like I would be the person to do it, um, but I didn't cheat. Um, actually, one of the teachers at the school helped me put those notes in the book. Um, so that's how I know it wasn't cheating because your own faculty member helped me do it, right? Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna end today's video. Um, again, uh, hopefully this quarantine ends soon. Um, I know, you know, obviously where I'm at, it's probably gonna take a while just because this is one of the worst places um, in the United States. Um, but I do see that some places are starting to open. Um, but again, guys, I hope all you guys are staying safe and healthy um, during these crazy times. And hopefully we can knock this thing out soon. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Again, before we end today's video though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Guys, the buttons are right down below. We're gonna try to grow this shit as a family every single day possible. Um, but guys, with that being said, my name is Adam. This is AM Vlogs, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.